82 big gear and little mick um right we thought we'd go for a <coughs> bit of a day walk oh, i've got a new pack um that i want to test out it's a sling bag made by pentagon it's called the molly sling pack i think that's what it's called um so i've got it decked out with what i would usually carry in a haversack and uh so far it's pretty nice on the shoulders um the padding here is four inches wide so heaps of support there for your shoulder because i find with a lot of sling bags i've had some bad experience with particular brands where it really really hurts my shoulder and you can feel the weight pulling you down so far this isn't um i've got a liter of water some food just my key essential survival items which i'll run through when we get to our favorite spot we just come across uh obviously someone's been uh constructing a teepee style shelter uh i know there's a indigenous guy that uh works for the council here and takes people out through the reserve here to uh teach them wild edibles and stuff like that so i think he's uh probably given a bit of a quick lesson on how to construct a temporary shelter being a TP so obviously they didn't get the finish waterproofing it water pu um, proofing it Jeez, can't talk but it's a start so pretty good so we're here it's about half an hour walk um, packs very very comfy oh I'm not feeling anything at all on my shoulders no weight nothing so so far so good uh, this got my amigo neck knife on me uh sunnies sunnies reading glasses smokes fire steel just some key essentials and everything else is in my bag so uh what i'll do i'll um i'll get some water on the ball and start going through the pack all right actually before i get the water on the ball i'll just uh I might just go through the uh, some details of the bag. So again, it's the Pentagon Molly sling bag. Um, yeah. Unsure about the. It's, well, I'm pretty sure it's a thousand D nylon, ballistic heavy duty nylon. Uh, they call it the Molly sling because it does have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six rows of Molly there and uh one two three columns here and maybe three and a half columns there same thing on the uh other side it does have this uh little little hole here see um i think that's a little communication thing uh because also on the bag you've got these side compartments here which zip and the compartments are split in two so you've got this half here that half there uh, that would be too small for a water bladder so I'm thinking it's for an iPod you know something like that stick your uh, earphones and stuff through there um, but I guess if you could find a I guess half litre water bladder you could probably stick it in there but uh, I'm pretty sure that's for communications I could be wrong so I'll have to ask um, Pentagon about that um on the other side same thing you've got another compartment here another two compartment zips there and again quite a bit of room to put some stuff in there what have we got here i've got a couple of uh muesli bars you want um so yeah you've got that there um we'll do your bag in a minute mate what else can you see that yep okay so then you've got these three three pockets here okay zip up pockets so i pretty much gone basic you know i don't think you want to load this bag out too heavy i think that would put a lot of pressure on your shoulders so you know it's this is just a little scout we're doing and this is just a scout bag to be honest so in this pocket here dedicated to medical and hygiene i guess so just some uh, fresh wipes there. Um, compression bandage. Should have two, but 
I've got to buy some more of those. Uh, just my medical kit, just band-aids, wound wipes, all that kind of stuff. Benadine, um, painkillers and stuff like that. And I've just got my water transpiration bags here, I've got two of them here. Just put that with medical. Um, kind of goes with each other I guess. Water is life. So um, that's in that pocket there, all fits nice and neat. And uh, it's a good bag actually because at least you've got three compartments where you can segment, se um, segment uh, your stuff. So just in this pocket here, uh, I've pretty much got my fire kit slash uh, fire kit slash survival kit. I'm currently working on this kit. Um, this will be my Southern Cross survival survival tin that I am creating. Uh, I mean, duct, take away the duct tape here. I just put it there for um, to make it more secure. But uh, I'm not going to go through this because it's work in progress. Um, and when I finish this kit, I'll tell you now, it's going to be one good quality kit that is everything you need just in case that's all you had, okay? Uh, I've done reviews and I've used many, many, many survival kits out there and I still have not found a kit where you've got to take everything out, chuck things away because there's shit and put your own stuff in there. I want to create a kit where you don't have to do that. It's going to be good quality products in there, torches, knives, stuff like that, where you won't have to, you know, worry about chucking things out because it's going to be good quality stuff so that's a uh, probably about a month away i think so i'll get ready for that and look forward for that so that's my fire slash survival kit there um i'm always rocking now with a candle and a lighter um i find candles just a great way of starting fires um so just a candle and a lighter there and then i've got obviously my other backup fire stuff there so yeah, that's your kit, mate. So that fits nice and perfect there. The candle. Okay, and the last pocket is just dedicated to self rescue and repair, pretty much. Um, oh, sorry, in the survival tin too, there was cordage. Plus, I've got cordage around my wrist. But self-rescue, I've got a Atka Compass, which gives you a 10-year warranty. It's not expensive. I sell this on my website, so check it out. Um, but great compass. Uh, it's got the mirror there for signaling and also, you know. Making fire. Um, no, you can't make a fire with a mirror. Yes, you can. Can you? All right. Uh, jet screen whistle and my uh, K2 lead lens, a little torch. So uh, that's pretty much self-rescue, navigation, and just my repair kit. I, I, to me, a repair kit is is a must, okay? Um, some people may disagree, but for me, I want a repair kit, you know, with me all the time. It doesn't matter if I'm with, on a scout or whatever. And in here, I've just got some stuff, which I'll do a separate video on, but the main thing is I've got, um, well, better be in here. I've got, yep, I've got artificial sinew, which I'm finding is great great stuff it's like so strong so versatile um, I'm carrying artificial sinew in every single kit that I have uh, plus my sail needles and and other general repairs so that's all that's in that pocket in that pocket so that finishes the uh, separate compartments Okay, let's pin up there. Um, what else? You got a. We got drainage holes in each pocket. You got a drainage hole at the bottom, bottom of the bag there with a, uh, a grab handle. Very What's very. Drainage hole. For? So if it rains, the water doesn't stay in the bag. It can leak out. No. Um, very very strong, very well stitched grab handle there with uh, Velcro yeah, I to keep it there. Um, on this side, you've got a grab handle on the top, and also you've got this uh, this compression strapping here. On the actual sling itself, you've got uh, three rows of molly, two columns of molly. Okay, again, four inches wide. Well, it's four inches wide here. It gets to about three, 
just under four inches here, then goes back to four inches. Uh, nice, quick release, buckle there, and obviously you can adjust the the strap. Okay, so we get into the guts of it, uh, and I've just got a torch just uh, on the molly there. So disconnect that, and then we get into the main compartment. Uh, nice grab handle, nice and smooth zippers. You've got Velcro also for the closure here. Okay, I'll get this back a bit so you can see it. And simply, again, I'm just carrying just essential light stuff. I mean, some stuff I probably didn't even need, but I'll bring it. So I've got my packable jacket, okay. I've got my um, Esbit stove, which we'll use today. Now put it on. Are you hot cold? No, I'm put it on. If it's not cold, don't worry about putting it on. Um, so I've got my packable jacket. I've got my little uh, trail snacks, soups, and all that kind of stuff. Sorry about the train. We're in suburbia. Um, so I've got some snacks there, which we'll dig into in a minute. I've got my GI canteen with cup and stove, which we'll be using in a minute too. I've got my gloves. Okay. Uh, got my Holtifer's uh, Craftsman knife uh, with a fire steel just duct taped there uh, with just like a, a pen, you know, like a yeah, pen. Um, so, great knife. This is the stainless steel version. So, just carrying a nice light knife in there. I'm not carrying a full tank knife today, it's not needed where I am. Uh, got my open oil folding saw. Just picked this up the other day from Kisler. Great, great saw. Um, I'm, I will be putting this on my website also, uh, but it's just a great, perfect little saw to cut through two, three, if not four inches of wood, probably three inches would be ideal, um, but great retention, um, sharp as, strikes a fur rod very, very nicely, um, so yeah, great bit of kit, and when I say strikes a fur rod nicely, I do mean that. So we've got it here. Look at that. Showers and showers of sparks. So got the uh, little saw. Um, just got my poncho. Okay, just a nice light but good quality poncho. Double up as a shelter, obviously. And then inside it's got this sleeve that goes starts from here, goes right down to there. And uh, I've just got like a little plastic lid from something which I use as a chopping board. The plate. Uh, my emergency blanket. You can use it as a plate too. Uh, and just my riding pad. Um, that's it. That is all. That is in this bag. And uh, that's it. said, very, very, very comfortable. Very surprised actually because I said I've, I've had a number of sling bags and they've just, they've just always been so uncomfortable and the funny thing is well not the funny thing is but you know everything flat is packed on the bottom which the bottom here is the front of the bag uh, this side here is where it leans against your bag and so even though I'm putting my kind of softer flat items and then I start putting my bulky items like this where this is against my back you don't feel it. It's very, very comfortable. The padding here isn't that thick, but it's thick enough where you just don't feel it. I didn't feel the bottle or the saw or the knife or anything digging into my back. It was actually very, very nice. Okay, so zip it up again, um, you know, and uh, clip this on, and away you go. It's What's that? Petrol. It's metho. It's metho. Methylated spirits. So good old um, Amigo neck knife. Where's it going? Why? Why? That's on. Doesn't look like it. No, you can't see it. Don't put your hand over it because it's on and it's hot. And you can't see the fire. I'll let the jets catch a bit. So, let's go through the boys' little um, 
<laughs> It'll have a sack. Uh, again, it's a Pentagon product. Uh, Max S, I guess that's what it's called. It's actually really a, uh, you can wear it two ways. You can wear it as a haversack or you can wear it around your waist as like a thigh rig. Um, so, uh, you know, it, you know, it's universal like that. So, I think I've done a review on this, but I'm not going to go through the actual specs of it. But uh, what, what I've given my boy is he's just got some uh, bit of a electrical tape and a poncho on that pocket there. That's about it. Uh, he's got his favourite knife in that pocket there. Um, what's in here? Did you put anything in there? Yeah. Okay. I've got some holding water and a whistle in there. Okay, and this is right here. Oh, this is a button compass. You're cold, aren't you? Uh, a little button compass and a uh, a uh, triangular bandage. That's not for snake bites, man. And uh, then the flap up. So in the main compartment, uh, he's got his uh, cup and uh, his GI canteen. So that uh, goes together in there. The zipper. He's got his little fire kit in the pouch there. Um, he's got a little multi tool. He's got a snare and fishing kit there. Yeah, he's got a lighter. Bit of cordage, and he also carries the K2. Lead lens, a little, uh, little torch, 25 lumen. Great little torch. It's also on my website. Um, so that's in that pocket there. And I have this. Is, well, it's your fire kit, mate, so of course you've got a fire still. Mm -hmm. Alright, so put that back in your fire kit. Okay, and then just simply, he's got his own little emergency blanket. Um, and I got some of these. Well, and he's got his, uh, his uh, sure fire, and fire I've discs. Some of these. And yeah, so that's covered with wax. These are non -co um, covered with wax, just the cotton itself. So that's his fire kit. So it'll be alright. Alright, we're done. Have a nice little feed. It's enough to get me by for a couple of hours. I want to see how it feels. Yeah. Alright. We're gone. I want to try that on. Alright, done. Got it on? Don't forget this. Nice and simple. I'll see you next time.